Hello, everybody. Do you hear us? Does everything work fine? We will start in one minute. I hope you can hear us. And I think we are ready to start. So hello everybody, welcome to this webinar and welcome to this course of Teacher Academy. We are very glad to have you here. Uh, the main goal of this webinar is to facilitate entry and engagement in the course for those who are not familiar or less experienced with this Teacher Academy online courses. And we hope that after this webinar, you will have a, cl a clear understanding about how things work on Teacher Academy, how you can make the most out of this course and how you can complete it successfully. To this end, we have asked you to post any practical questions you may have, and we will try to address them during the webinar. So before starting, uh, let us introduce ourselves first. My name is Efis Tidu. I'm the instructional designer and course coordinator of this course and other courses of Teacher Academy of School Education Gateway. And I work as pedagogical officer in European Schoolnet, supporting the pedagogical and professional development activities in the Future Classroom Lab and other European Schoolnet projects. But in this course, of course, I'm not alone. I'm very happy to have with me Cornelia. Cornelia, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, thank you. So my name is Cornelia and uh, I'm a teacher in Slovakia and Bratislava. I teach at Hotel Academy, but I also am an interning ambassador for 13 years and Microsoft uh, Education Expert. And uh, I, uh, I'm very happy that I also can cooperate with European Schoolnet and uh, also School Education and Gateway and co-moderate uh, courses and also lead some workshops uh, for e-tuning teachers and also uh, other teachers. So now I'm happy to be with you again. Excellent. And of course, it's not only you and me, Cornelia, right? So we have a great group of teachers. Uh, we have many teachers actually that we have uh, gathered here because of this course. Uh, we have many participants from different countries, European, but also not European. Uh, and that definitely gives us a great opportunity to connect with colleagues, discuss any concerns and share ideas around the topic of project based based learning. So a big welcome to all of you. Before we start and considering that the last period was quite challenging for a lot of us, both at the professional level, but also at the personal and social level, we have the following question for you. How would you like to feel during this course? I would like to ask you to go to menti.code and uh, uh, menti.com and use the code that you see now. So 7683412 and answer to this question. We will give you two minutes to reply. So we can switch to this uh, slide now. So because of the COVID-19 pandemic, education has changed uh, dramatically with a distinctive rise of distance learning whereby teaching is undertaken. Is many please move to the previous slide? Actually show the results of the Mentimeter. Um, with a distinctive rise of distance learning whereby teaching is undertaken remotely and on digital platforms. Considering the current situation, the fact that some teachers now are teaching remotely, some others are in the classrooms and some others follow a blended approach. In this course, we will try to approach the method of project based learning, having in mind these three different scenarios. So we hope that whatever your case might be, you will be able to find some inspiration and guidance. So. I hope you have submitted so your answers already. 
Cornelia, would you like to comment a bit on the answers that participants yes. submitted? <laughs> yes, I just want to say that uh, I usually give this question to my students at the beginning of the school year, every year. And it's a very simple question, but it's important because then uh, I see and then my next question is usually are uh, and what do you need to experience? What do you need to experience these feelings and then what can you do to experience them? And then we create rules. So now we are not going to create the rules, but these answers are important for us so that we can see what can we do for you <laughs> so that you can feel really well, you can enjoy learning and have fun because it is proved you know that in a such mood we learn better. So now we are curious, how do you want to feel? <laughs> what would you like to feel? How would you like to feel during this course? And hopefully we will see the results. Yeah, I see some results already in my on my screen. So I see that some participants, most of the participants want to feel inspired. And uh, I hope you will feel inspired through this learning journey. Uh, some they want to feel relaxed. Some others they want to feel supported. Um, I see curiosity. I see enthusiasm. I, th I see innovation. Uh, some participants want to exchange experience and be challenged. That's good. That's good because we have challenged ourselves in this period I, I think quite a lot, so it's good to, to see that we want to challenge ourselves more, especially at the professional level. That's that's a permanent situation that we should uh, chase. Empowered, uh, they want to feel part of a community. Of a community, I think definitely you will feel uh, that you are a member of a learning community. That hopefully it will inspire you to try and test uh, different practices. Uh, they want to be heard, they want to feel um, supported, great. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure, do we have, a, I think maybe we have a problem with, uh, with showing the results, but uh, yeah, I see it. Yes, but, but you can, but now uh, there is a question that you need uh, the link, so you can see the link. I mean, yeah, it's, right, it's maybe I can share that on the chat. The Hopefully you can see it, or maybe not. <laughs> Voila, so I have just posted the link and you can see the results here. And yeah, now we see so now we have. as well. Great. Yes, so it's good to know because now <laughs> we can see what we can do for you. <laughs> and for sure we will try to give you support and but to be relaxed then it's in your hands <laughs> so just don't take this course too seriously i mean don't have fun and enjoy it that is important because again in such an environment we learn much better and also give support to each other and we know that teachers are so great that they usually give support to each other and also you will see that we have many uh, like possibilities how to interact and share our uh, like experience and also give support so great so i think that we can move on now and the question is why is this course important so let's go to a next slide please great so Yes, we face a big challenge, we all know that, but also the challenge is that we need to equip our students with competencies that are important for their successful life. And the question is, what is a competence and what competencies uh, should we focus on? So, because we know that to be competent doesn't mean only just to know something, but being able to really effectively apply a combination of knowledge, skills and attitudes. 
uh, to re react to the situation or to solve a problem in the real world. So that is competence and uh, competencies are expressed in different ways. Probably you have seen many different frameworks, but in this course we will use uh, uh, the European Union framework and they have these, they identify these eight key uh, competencies that enable really every citizen to adapt to changes of society. And the framework also sets out the key themes or transverse skills that you can see uh, in the middle of this circle. And these uh, skills just underpin each competence. And project-based learning has really been identified as uh, really popular and effective methods to teach these key competencies and also these transversal skills. So let's have a look what this course really offers to you. So next slide. OK, so as you probably know, we have started on Monday <laughs> and the end will be on the uh, 4th of uh, November. And the course is mostly asynchronous. You can follow the course at your own pace, but there are three synchronous events that you can see now. If you can't take part uh, in these webinars or also in Twitter chats, then don't worry because uh, there will be, of course, the recording of both webinar and also, uh, uh, webinar and also this teach meet. And you will find uh, these recordings at the course platform, so no worries. And Twitter chat is maybe for many of you a special even though something new, but again, no worries because you will learn more about Twitter and Twitter chat in the third module. And you will, uh, you can get ready for that. Even now you can start maybe, and that will be one of the challenges on Facebook for you <laughs> to tweet also. So we will have from time to time challenges for you so that you keep engaged a bit. So, uh, so next slide please. And each module will open on Monday. So every Monday there is a new module open around noon. And as you can see, these are the topics of each module. So why PBL? Then we will talk more about implementing about uh, these like steps, how to implement PBL. And then of course, important part like assessing PBL. And uh, because uh, we know that we are busy, you are busy teachers, we all are busy now. So you can see this very important information that, yes, the last module opens on the 19th of October, but then you have more days, like 10 days of, to finish your tasks. So don't worry if you just can't manage and it doesn't mean I would like to point out to this that it's of course nice if you are able to uh, to finish the task for each module uh, by the end of uh, of this first uh, I mean by the end of the week. But no worries if you can't you just finish them whenever you want. So important is for you the next slide please. It is important and really mandatory activity for you is uh, that you will have to prepare your final classroom project in the last module and submit it so that three participants of this course uh, can give you review, your know, feedback, yes, constructive feedback. Again, we will of course give you support and you will know, you will see uh, the structure, how to give a constructive feedback. So again, no worries, you will enjoy it. And of course, you will then have to review uh, the final work of your three peers. And this is really mandatory for you because without this, you can't get your certificate. So again, what is needed for a certificate? So please visit all sections of the modules. And it's, uh, it's really great if you are an active participant and engage in discussions because you know how important it is for teachers caring 
sharing is caring. Yes, that's it. So be active participants, share your insights, your experience, and uh, just share resources that you have. And we have many platforms for this. And but most important will be, and Effie will tell you this Padlet, but to be active, it means that really you care and we can learn from each other. And I'm really curious about your insights on these topics and your experience really. And then what is important is deadline. Keep in mind this deadline, 4th of November. So by this is deadline for uh, like even review of the project of three of your peers. Yes, if you decide to submit your classroom project on the last day, then keep in mind that maybe it could be a bit late because then you need to uh, do the view of your peers and everything by the 4th of November. Uh, so of course I would recommend you to, to do it a bit earlier. And then, next slide please. What we uh, recommend to you is to keep your learning diary and you will really a very nice uh, description what the learning diary is and why it is needed. And uh, because learning diary is a great way to keep the record of your thoughts, of your reflections, but also you can just keep or save the links of the resources and information and um, also experience and information from your colleagues, not only from the experts and uh, this like course or course experts, but also whatever you find interesting because this way we learn actively if you keep a learning diary. I have to say because there were many questions about that. No, it's not mandatory, but we recommend it because it's much better and also it's great if you then will recommend this to your students to keep learning diaries for them in their studies. Yes. So now, if you want, uh, I, I will. <laughs> yeah, so I can, I can say something about the, the discussions. As Cornelia very well explained, uh, you're joining a big community of educators. Every professional brings uh, his own ideas and his own uh, inspiring methods. Uh, he, they use to, to engage their students with the best possible way. So in these Padlets, you will find you will find a great resource of inspiration as you wanted to to feel inspired at the beginning. So we highly recommend you to join these discussions, submit your ideas on the Padlet, uh, spend some time to read the contributions of your colleagues, and uh, take the most of this course in any possible uh, way. So as you already know. Uh, we are active also on social media. We have a Facebook group uh, that you can post your questions there. You can exchange and discuss with your colleagues there as well. Myself and Cornelia are also uh, members of this group. So if we see that uh, some participants uh, have a question on the, or they need some support, we are, we are very happy to support them. And we are also active on Twitter. Um, we have a specific hashtag that we are using to, to collect them all the messages related to this MOOC on a specific space. And of course, we can also interact there. As we said at the beginning, we will also have a Twitter chat and you will find more information about this in due course. Uh, Twitter chat is, is an organized discussion at a specific uh, date and time so we will have the opportunity to, to discuss based on some uh, specific questions related to the course topic. Last uh, but not least, of course it's also, it's not too late to invite your peers and your friends to join the course. So please feel free to share uh, the course with your colleagues or your, uh, from your school or the friends. Uh, that you have so you can learn together because learning together is always better. There is time to join. We have just started and uh, there is time to catch up uh, since we are still in the first uh, module of the course. 
Uh, so that's all with some technicalities uh, about the course regarding the topic. As we explained from the beginning, uh, we will try to approach the project based learning uh, and see how it can be a, a, a practical and useful method for using in any setting. So in an in school in school setting or in blended with a blended approach or in a distance uh, distance learning scenarios. So we hope that whatever your case is, Really, you can find some useful ideas that can benefit your practice. Also, we will try to see how project based learning is uh, useful for supporting the, the needs of the students that face some learning difficulties or some special educational needs. So I hope that you will find the, most of the answers uh, that you have regarding the content in this course throughout these uh, four modules. And uh, now I think we have some time for questions. So if you have any question that we have not answered yes, yet, please post it on the chat room and we are happy to provide some answers. Yes, so now I can see one question uh, that uh, the learning diary, where should you publish or keep it? For, so learning diary is recommended, of course, to keep it for yourself. But, but if you want, it's quite a nice uh, sometimes practice that you can maybe share your learning diary for others to see how you but but it's it's really learning diary is your can be your private uh, like diary to keep the record of your learning but uh, it's nice if you if you want to show it in our facebook group or on, on twitter or in the forum of, of the course, so we will create maybe we can create like uh, a one like forum for, for, for this case. So if you want to proudly share what you have done, so then then it's great. It, it's not mandatory, but it can be helpful maybe uh, for for others. It, it happened already many times that I even I, I learned from others learning diaries uh, took inspiration. And you wanted also Facebook group link, so I posted it here so you can see. Uh, probably you, you can see now the link. And another question that do we choose ourselves uh, three projects to review? No, uh, it's uh, even we don't do it. Uh, it's it's just this system, so it will do automatically. So no, no, we are not involved in that. It's of course it's set, so we have this technology for that, which is great. <laughs> we don't need to do it. And if you don't want, of course, to use Twitter or Facebook, then it's OK. It's not a problem, so it's not mandatory. It's only if you want. And if I can add also something else about the learning diary, because we shared the link in the presentation, this link was actually to provide you some instructions, some guidance on how to create your own learning diary. So when we will share this presentation, because we are going to share the presentation and the recording in the platform uh, tomorrow or the day after, you will find the link which you can find also in the course uh, introduction as well about how to create your learning diary, what kind of tool you can use um, and what submissions you, you should put there. As Cornelia said, it's not mandatory, but it's very helpful for your own uh, professional development and for keeping track of what you're learning throughout this course. Which is, might be quite useful at the end when you will need to develop your own project plan. And again, I can see this mandatory, whether it's mandatory to participate in the forums. Uh, it's uh, the mandatory you have this one task that uh, you, you will have to do your final work and to do three reviews. That is really without that you, you just can't get your certificate. And then also to read and to go through all these modules and uh, yes, to participate in the forums so or in these padlets. Uh, of course, if you don't want, don't have time to to um, to share your ideas in each Padlet, then yes, it's OK. But uh, we would be really happy 
to see your suggestions or your reflection, uh, really just your expertise. It would be it would be great to have it uh, from you. So uh, please, yes, we are big community from the whole world <laughs> and it must be it's just exciting to learn from each other. We also received a question, but I'm not sure uh, if um, if I understood correctly what the question is about. How is action research related to this competencies approach? Uh, I'm just trying to, under to understand the question, but I would say related to this topic, we see project based learning as an approach to develop key competencies. I'm sure you have read uh, a lot of articles or a lot of publications coming from the European Commission that uh, say that we should focus on the competency development uh, during our lessons. So we see how we can develop these key competencies uh, by engaging the students in project based learning uh, practices. So that's the main uh, goal of this course. And uh, there is one question. Are we going to learn how to deliver a competence like entrepreneurship in a PBL approach? Uh, PBL approach, so we, we are not going to talk about like each competence, uh, each of these key uh, eight key competencies. It will be mm, yeah, because there is it, it's, there are even more like courses focused on each competence separately. Uh, but this like PBL approach is important, like steps. And if you if you will see how to how to really implement this project based learning generally, then uh, you will also see or learn how to deliver this uh, the, or, or develop those certain competencies. Because uh, entrepreneurship, if we are talking about entrepreneurship, so it's again, Entrepreneurship as a competence has, maybe you know it, 15 more competencies <laughs> included. So uh, according to the entre, uh, entre comp. But uh, of course, if you want, we, we can, uh, if you ask me directly on the Facebook group or Twitter or in, in the forum, then I can give you the link uh, where, uh, how to develop this competence exactly if if you are interested in that but you will have this structure you will have this this pbl approach that is important in this course and to see how all these different kind of competencies uh, as such can be uh, developed it depends on your approach and depends on the topic that you will uh, you will of course uh, offer to your students And indeed, the only strict uh, thing in this course, because as you understand, it's quite flexible. Uh, I'm not sure if all of you have an experience of a MOOC before. You know the flexibility that a MOOC can offer. Uh, you can learn wearing your pajamas, as I used to say, for, for a MOOC. You can, wear, you can learn when you're sitting on, at your couch or when you're lying at your bed. You can learn either at night or early in the morning but there are some specific deadlines that you have to respect if you want to complete complete this course successfully and qualify for a certificate. So please keep these deadlines in mind if you want to receive a certificate at the end of the course and of course follow the guidelines for the final activity that you will find in the last module. And maybe I would recommend you if uh, I know that many of you don't want Facebook or Twitter or the social media, but still uh, we will have some uh, like question of the week where we or challenge of the week where you can um, maybe also share your ideas and, um, and resources. So I think that it would be nice also uh, to, to be there. And also I will remind you always of the deadlines or things that are important also in this uh, social media. So you can also follow that 
that could be helpful for you. Essential for PBI younger learners is age group essential. No, it's uh, it's uh, it's not important. What is the age group for PBL? Because how I like to say usually to <laughs> to my colleagues that uh, in anything that you want to start, keep in mind kiss, kiss, keep it short and simple. You know, yeah like your first kiss <laughs> when you have your first kiss it was short and simple probably and then it was more and more complicated let's say so keep it like that and even with young or even it, with older i mean students but uh, at the beginning just don't don't do complicated things and uh, so just you will learn this structure and that I'm sure that you will you will be able to implement to yes even to kindergarten <laughs> where I can yes this is the question yes and uh, something else I would like to highlight is that uh, we want you to submit uh, nice works so um, at the end we will uh, try to gather some good submissions, some good uh, lesson plans, and we are going to curate that. We are going to engage some active participants to provide, to evaluate these submissions in order to, to share with the whole audience some good examples that have been developed throughout the course. So be active uh, throughout the course in order to join this editorial board at the end. Um, make a good uh, project plan, make a good submission because at the end you are going to be um, awarded for this, awarded in a way that your, your, work, your work will be published in the School Education Gateway uh, website and uh, you will receive uh, recognition for that. And of course, PBL can be applied to uh, from kindergarten level to adult education. It's up to you to see how you can uh, adapt all the practices, all the ideas that you will see in this course in your own setting, in your own uh, age group, in your students, in your own subject uh, you teach. So you get the inspiration, you get the concept and the ideas, and then it's up to you how you can adapt it in your own uh, environment. So I think that's all the questions we had, right, Cornelia? I think we yes, have much yes. to answer <laughs> all of them. And uh, since we we have completed, I think it's now time to to adjourn this live event, to say goodbye, to wish you good luck, to enjoy the first module, uh, to stay in touch with each other, to feel free to co connect with us if you have any questions. We are here to support you to complete this course successfully and uh, make the most out of it. So um, enjoy, have fun, share, exchange ideas and uh, keep on learning. Yes, thank you. And now there is a very nice last comment. Maybe finally I'll start to use Facebook. It's important to know our students word. Yes, so that's it. <laughs> that is very nice. So thank you. And yes, with this message, let's go for challenges also as teachers. And I, I really wish you good luck. Enjoy this. Don't really worry. Don't feel stressed about this uh, because now you are just going to learn with other uh, uh, great colleagues who decided to do something for for the students and so keep learning, have fun. Yes, and see you soon. See you on social media. See you in the platform and don't worry whatever you need, then uh, we are here for you. So thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Cornelia as well. Thank you everybody for joining this live event. See you at the next live event and uh, have a lovely evening. Goodbye.